What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing the setup and tutorial of the Cronus Zen. Now when you buy the Cronus Zen, you're going to get the Cronus Zen. You're also going to get a 36 inch braided mini USB cable. You're also going to get a 36 inch braided micro USB cable. And you're going to get a 12 inch braided micro USB cable. All of them are going to be pretty useful throughout this tutorial. Now before you start doing anything, you're going to have to come all the way over here to cronusmax.com slash downloads and download the latest firmware update tool so that you can obviously download to the latest version. So you're just going to come here, you're going to click here, right? Now, obviously, you're going to click this. Now, there's going to be no devices found. Now, listen, using your micro USB cable or your mini USB cable, I forgot which one, you're going to plug it into the back of this Cronus, right? Now, as you can see right here, um, no devices are found, and your Cronus will probably look a little like this. I'm actually going to switch over so I can see if I'm doing this right. It'll look a little like this. That's fine. On the back is going to be this reset button. You're going to press and hold this reset button for three seconds. You see? And then your device will be found. So there you so there you have it. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, just make this regular. See, now you can see my device is found. Select your device to continue. And you see it says Zen Bootloader at the top. So now you just click that. Use the latest version available. Click continue. Begin update. It'll start updating. All right, boom. So now start over. Well, you we don't have to start over per se. I mean, you can really just exit out. But, you know, if you click start over, obviously, there'll be no devices found. X that out. Now, we are on to the next step, which will be Zen Studio. So then you're just going to download Zen Studio right here. Just going to download it. And then you're just going to click on it. And it's going to execute, you know, Zen Studio. But I already have Zen Studio downloaded. So... You know, nothing really that's going to happen here is just going to open up. But um, it's a very simple installation process. So then when you have that, right, you are going to plug in uh, your mini USB into the right side of the Cronus Zen. You can see right mm -hmm. here, I'm going to plug it in now. The other side is, is plugged into the computer. Now you'll have everything available to you. Now understand this. I already have an account, as you can see, Chuckavelli. But if you do not have an account, the first time that you plug this in, you're going to be required to register your Cronus device. Another very simple process. All you got to do is register it, click the email link, make sure that you're verified, and then boom, the next time that you boot this up, you will be in this program. So this was the library tab. This is the compiler tab. Then we also have the device tab, which is just for settings and things of that nature. And we have the mouse and keyboard settings here as well. What we're really going to live at is this programmer tab right here. So here in the programmer tab is where a lot of you guys are going to live. This is where you're going to be able to download the game packs that will allow you to mod your controller action so that you can have different and oftentimes better performing uh, movements and actions in game to lead to better performance overall. Now on this side, you have a lot of the video games that you could download game packs for. Now, not every video game in existence is here, but a good amount of the most popular ones are. So let's just click Apex Legends, for example. What you'll find is that some of these, some of these games also have tutorials for, um, you know, what you might want to set up. So, you know, like this one, for example, has like a, a anti-recoil kind of tutorial here that you could click on and uh you know though they happily tell you what you need to do and what and what you can try out and things like that so which is pretty cool but not every single one of them has this it's like battlefield hardline this one won't have doesn't have it you know i don't really know why some video some of them have videos and some of them don't hard to tell but now what you do to get these game packs onto your cronus zen is you're just going to pretty much drag and drop right here to the middle and then once you do that you have all these options. Now you can really get in depth here. There's a lot of things that you could do, but we're just going to zoom over to the um, recoil function. Okay, we're going to set this to about 50. Um, and I and I know what's pretty much the end result is going to be. I've tested this already, but you know we're going to set the primary gun to about 50% anti recoil, and then you know same thing right about here for the secondary weapon as well so once that's done you pretty much click close nice now once you have this okay you can always re-edit this by clicking the number and boom you're back in awesome then in order to compile basically save these settings onto your Cronus Zen you have to click program device which is display button right here you wait for it to save 
and then boom it's saved now we're going to add a few more things here just to show you a couple other um, settings that I want you guys to see uh, and let's add uh, freaking Fortnite, right let's put Fortnite right here one other thing that you can do is that if you do not want one of these all you have to do is drag this over to the trash can and boom it'll get deleted all right so we're going to save this one more time perfect so now that it's saved here's what you're going to do next you can actually pretty much just disconnect this if you wanted to and then take the same micro usb that you had in the beginning of this tutorial to connect to your pc and plug it at the top and plug the other end into the console of your choosing whether it's the xbox or playstation even nintendo whatever and then take the other end have it hooked up to your controller and put it into the bottom left or right doesn't really matter you put it in there perfect now also understand this if you wanted to leave the pc side in you could have like there's nothing really stopping but you know just to make this clean that's what i did so now i'm hooked up to my xbox I'm going to switch over to uh, Apex Legends now, and you'll be and you'll start to see some things. Now, before we start, I just want to show you. Remember how we had multiple profiles? Well, here you see, this is the Apex Legends profile that we had. If you click to the left, uh, Battlefield 2042 profile. You click again, Call of Duty profile. Okay, so you'll just be switching through these. Then if you go back here, this will be the home, which means that there are no settings on it, which is where we're going to start really quickly just to show you a few things. Then we're going to switch over to Apex Legends. But now let's go back to regular and let me show you the differences. Remember, all we really did was work on the anti-recoil. There's a lot of things that you could do with um, there's a lot of things that you could do with the Cronus, but all we really worked on was the anti-recoil. So here we have the R99 in Apex Legends. Anyone who's played this game knows that the R99 has a very hard recoil pattern. Um, uh, let me actually do it here. You see how it goes upward? So you can see it with the enemy, like so. Right? It goes upward. But now, when I go left a little and put on the Apex Legends loadout, you'll find that that is um, eliminated pretty much entirely. You see how it pretty much just stayed right there? See how the difference? See, it's literally just one dot right there while the other one drifted upwards. Let's do this one more time. You see, it just stays in one place. And it pretty much works every single time. Now, that is just the Apex Legends modding. There's many other things, not only in this Apex Legends modding, but in all the other types of games that you can really experiment and get into. I ain't here to do all that, but I am here to introduce to you the power of the Cronus Zen. Now understand there are a lot of things you can do with the Cronus Zen. There's aim assist, anti-recoil, you can even use different controllers for different consoles, a lot of stuff. I didn't even scratch the surface here. I'm just trying to introduce you guys to the power of the Cronus Zen, but beware. It is considered cheating in a lot of circles. So try really to only use it for single player games or recreational purposes. You start using it for multiplayer, don't say I didn't warn you because your account might end up just getting banned. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you have a great day. Subscribe. Peace, man.